Yes, what's good everybody? Quick shit vid, Friday night, what we're all saying. Out on slush tonight, working in the morning. Um, big game tomorrow, Chelsea, madness. Tuckles made a few comments, well not a comment, but kind of funny. He just said he's aware that they're in for like an intense afternoon. And he said that it, you won't be able to stop until you're in the shower, which I thought were quite funny to be fair. I don't mind Tuckle, he's made a good start and he seems like quite a funny guy, but that's how Klopp started and then ended up hating Klopp, so... Rodrigo, Bamford, Cooper, Phillips out. Um, Phillips looks like he's out for a while. Him and Cooper have both had an operation, so and they're assessed daily. Bamford's getting assessed daily. Daily. Um, he's at pulled his hamstring, celebrating like a nutter. And Rodrigo's had a heel problem for quite a while, apparently, and but they're just easing him off the game time for, for his long-term healing. Cock is apparently back in action. He's he's fine, but he's he's not in training yet or full time training due to like an illness he's got. So Chelsea have got Kante, Chilwell, and Kovacic out, which is good, isn't it? Um, but they've got that Jorginho back. He didn't play midweek. They drew three all, uh, but they had like a weakened side. Um, they've got a good side on the Chelsea. They've been amazing. Uh, I just watched. Um, the training session, which was actually really funny this week, it was a lot longer than normal, it was like four and a half minutes, five minutes long. And uh, Roberts does ail him with the Megs, they're like, they're playing, you know, like where they've got to keep ball, you've got to get to a certain amount of passes. And one of the lads gets Megs, so Ailing's, it stopped and Ailing's having a go at him like, man, and then he just, Roberts just slips it through the legs. But Ailing's like, don't count, don't count. I think Ailing's a right good character out ground. Every time I've seen him, like on them, I know it's only clips, but you just see like, there were a few lads like I remember months ago I probably mentioned it, but there were a few lads like stood about outside changing room like and they were like, If you've got your boots on, let's get out, you know, get out training, get out and sort of I think he runs rules the roost quite well, takes it very serious, even though he's like a really smiley, like seems like a crackers type of bloke, doesn't he? With our injuries, what do you reckon? So there's a few surprises here. I reckon he's gonna go terminate a Dallas in net. Uh, no, that's not even funny. So, Meslier, Silent S, obviously, in net. There's a few options here, isn't there? Because we've, we've got basically the heart of the team out, aren't we, Bamford, even though we've had him out for a while. Cooper, Phillips and Rodrigo, which Rodrigo, you expected to sort of feature more than... It, he's been featuring more, rather, should I say, and Phillips and Cooper have been in for quite some time. Quite some time. So, my feelings are, Ailing right back, Struick, Silent everything uh, and Lorente centre back. Now, then I don't know because my <laughs> even though Firpo has had some absolute mares, I thought he played well last week and he is a legit left back. And obviously, we are losing um, Phillips in the centre. So, does he go Firpo left back and then Dallas in the Forshaw and Dallas? Forshaw play eh, Dallas, Forshaw pushing on. Or I think he'll sit for sure. Although when forshaw has been playing, it's been Phillips that's been sitting, which sort of surprised me really. But I think Forshaw will sit and Dallas will go a little bit further forward because he never wants to play Dallas in that holding role for some reason. Or does he go Dallas left back and then click in front of Forshaw? Um, what do you reckon? My, my fear is also that he goes... I want him to go, if he's going to... Dan James, Rafinha, Harrison across the the front three and then Roberts up top but my fear is that he'll go with the Dan, Dan James up top and Roberts in behind Rafinha out wide and Harrison that's my that's my fear I'd rather he just play with the number nine don't care who it is I'd rather I know I keep saying it but I'd rather he just go with that and then play Raft out middle even or Dan James down middle just see how it goes um, so yeah um for me, I would go for poor left back, believe it or not. For sure, Dallas, Dan James, Rafinha, Harrison Roberts. That's what that's what I'd do. So yeah, what do you reckon? Um, I am hopeful, as always, of a win. I think it'll be an extremely tough game, but we did uh, we did keep them out quite well, didn't we, last time? Um and you know, they've they've rolled over quite a lot of teams, so but 
we might have to start getting used to life without Phillips as well from what I'm reading so this might not be a bad test really uh, Phillips is apparently so some bullshit sauce says on Sun that um, he's going to snub scum so he's not going to go to Man U due to his Leeds alliance and that you know he don't want to smear his time with his um, reputation with fans and that And but he'll, he will go to Liverpool if he's to further his career so where that's come from is anybody's guess but yeah what you're saying on that if I had to pick, I would pick don't go. Please don't go. But if he's got to go, I'd rather he not go to scum. I fucking hate scum. And he said it in far too many interviews where he's like, I hate scum. So it would be pretty good if, if he is to go, which wouldn't be good. But if he is to go, it would be good if he did snub scum. So, yeah, what do you reckon? I'm gonna go. I'm going to go for win, even though I think we'll take a point off him, which I'd, be, I'd take. But I'm going to go 2-1. And I'm going to go Rafinha. And Rafinha and Roberts, why not? Yes. Take it easy, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow. I might go live tomorrow. Might be on my own. I think Stig's playing footy. And my brother's um, got kids. So yeah, I'll be on a dodgy feed on here tomorrow, possibly. Got a pen in me on again. In a bit, everybody.